Hello everyone and welcome to our second OU cast. My name is Andrea. I am the International Communications and Research Advisor at the Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation and your host for today. I am here, digitally of course, with the Deputy CEO of the Boss Foundation, Dr. Anton Nuchayo. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Uh, Anton, welcome to the OU cast. Thank you very much, Andrea. Who are you? I'm doing well, excited to be here. It's nice to connect even though we're all working from home right now. I'm also looking forward to talk to you about today's theme, which is why we must save orangutans. But before we get into that, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, your experience with orangutans and what you do with the Boss Foundation? So when I did my undergrad, I did a research on climate behavior. And uh, when I have opportunity to do my master, I study in the uh, landscape uh, management, which is uh, on how the uh, primate utilize various types of plantations. And I compare it into the uh, actual habitat, which is forest. And then when I did my doctoral degree, I study about the uh, morphology on orangutan and how differences in uh, geographical context. And uh, I used to work as a biologist and then work in orangutan conservation program in other NGOs before working for post foundations as a program manager back to 2010, 2013. And now I'm become the uh, deputy CEO of Pony Orangutan Survival Foundations. So it's obvious you have a lot of experience with orangutans and with other species. So based on all your work, why do you think it's important that we save orangutans? If we are talking about forests, we have to talk about forests, not only the trees. We have to talk about the whole ecosystem, the ecology, which is including the animals inside there. And primates, of course, the orangutan as well, are a good uh, seed dispersers. And uh, when I was in uh, research stations more than 20 years ago, uh, we did the research on how the uh, primates, the seeds that eaten or taken by primates and stay in their stomach for a while and then it dispersed like more than 500 meters. It depends on whom range of this uh, primates uh, group. And then we also looking at the uh, germinations, which is we able to see that the one that went into the uh, primates stomach will have a better germinations compared to the one that just dropped from the trees. That's what I learned. So. For me, it is important to save the orangutan because of they perform as uh, the farmer in the forest. So without them, the uh, forest most likely will lose many of the uh, species of trees. So based on that, orangutans are obviously important to the forest, but why should we really care about these forests? Why are they important to us as humans? We don't live in forests. We may realize that not all of people now live in the forest. Only few of them still uh, remain living in the forest, but uh, definitely forests uh, give us a lot of benefit. It is, uh, you know, manage the water and also uh, provide fresh air for us. In the forest, there are so many species of animals, including bees that uh, helping us to pollinate all of the trees which is it gives us also uh, food resources, not only inside of the forest, but also in surrounding of the forest for the community that uh, depend on agri agricultural crops. So forests are important too, is what you're saying. If we go even bigger scale, because um, hopefully this OU cast reaches people around the world, could you even make the jump to how forests in Indonesia impact people in cities in Europe and the Americas and other parts of Asia and Africa? Um, or is that too big of a jump to make? Uh, I think, you know, it still have an impact to the uh, whole ecosystem in this world because of if we're losing a lot of forests, then we will have uh, higher uh, carbon emissions, right? Which is then heat up the, uh, this earth, means that the um, temperature might increase when during summer, for example, it will hotter than usual. Maybe then during the uh, rainy seasons, the, the rain itself then different to the usual. So is it a jump to say by protecting orangutans, we're also helping to reduce the impacts of climate change or reduce the intensity of climate change? I will say yes, because of uh, 
it is uh, has correlations right between uh, carbon emissions and the loss of the forest cover in all over the world and especially when it is if we are talking about pit swamp forest where most of the uh, remaining are now under development which is uh, it tends to burn easily compared to decades ago. When it burns, increase the uh, temperature in this uh, planet. From my own knowledge and experience, there appears to be a sort of tipping point when you talk climate change. For these forests and orangutans and these ecosystems that are vital to the entire health of our Earth, uh, do you think there's a point of no return? Um, are we dangerously close to it? Have we already passed it? Oh, this is a really hard question and it is beyond my expertise, but uh, I'm thinking that it is kind of a point of no reason, but uh, we may have to, not happy, but we may have to say thank you for this uh, COVID-19 because of the less activities around the world, especially burning the uh, fossil fuel, which is then most of the uh, places in this world are then less polluted and the uh, people able to see the sky that blue and able to realize that uh, fresh air is something that valuable and rare. So I hope that this kind of situations then people able to realize and then change their behavior on exploit this uh, earth too much. So this pandemic has given you hope. Would you say then, based off your answer, if we do change our behaviors drastically as we are now, there is still hope for orangutans in these forests? We can? I would say yes, because of, you know, I'm an optimist person. <laughs> we have to be in this field, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not optimistic. It's hard to go into work every day. Or, I guess, into the room next to your bedroom. Nowadays. Yeah, at, at, at least we have to give kind of a positive... Uh, pipe to all of uh, us that uh, there is a possibility of this earth will getting better. I like to think that too. So in this optimistic future, per from a personal standpoint, why do you want to have orangutans in this future? Uh, yeah, again, because of, uh, we know well that this uh, orangutan, the orangutan play important role in the ecosystem and definitely they uh, also a good example for us to learn a lot of things that we may able to get the uh, benefit with a good way on utilize the uh, plants and animal in the forest because of I do believe that they you know eat something that will give a good benefit for them some day people told me during pregnancy and when they give a birth the orangutan tends to eat several type of plants that uh, then the daya also utilize it when they giving uh, babies. You mentioned the Dayak people. For those of us tuning in who aren't from Indonesia or even Kalimantan, who are the Dayak people? The native people of Borneo. So they are living only in Borneo, of course, in the Indonesian part and also the Malaysian part of Borneo. Um, so you're saying they learn from orangutans and we all have something we could still learn from orangutans if we can protect them. Yes. Well, that's a comforting thought. Um, they're not too different from us humans, are they? Oh, definitely not. I've been, you know, studying uh, primate behavior and apes, lesser apes also, yeah, just like us. A lot of conflicts, a lot of uh, intrigues. Keeps life interesting, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Never a dull moment with primates, humans included. So to change the tone a little bit, so we're talking about this future with orangutans. To get to that point, what do we need to stop? What is driving them to extinction currently? Oh, uh, it is clear that the um, the main driver that make the orangutan goes to extinctions is the uh, habitat changes, which is uh, land alterations, most likely for the um, you know industrial plantations that uh, we see and saw uh, so far. So with habitat change being the main driver of extinction for orangutans. What are you and the Boss Foundation doing to stop this and save orangutans? Uh, most of people in this world thought that we, Borneo Orangutan Survival Foundation, only working on rehabilitating and reintroducing the orangutans to the uh, wild. No, uh, we have uh, something bigger than that. We are working with 400 staff. We also working 
in big area in central Kalimantan that uh, have uh, big populations of wild orangutan. This is the ex mega rice project in the past in the late of 90s. So Purnia Orangutan Survival Foundation with MAWAS program maintain rehabilitate the a forest that has size more than 3,000 hectares. And this is something that uh, give us a clear picture that POS are working not only directly to the uh, animal by rehabilitate and reintroduce it, but we also protect and rehabilitate the forest. Means that we have to work with the community as well. So what I would like to say is uh, we working in so many various programs and activities to make sure that the orangutan and its habitat are protected and able to survive for a longer period of time. So would you say we have to protect orangutans to protect the habitat or protect the habitat to protect the orangutans? Uh, protect the habitat for the orangutans and for us, of course. Or can it go both ways? <laughs> Yeah, we, we was doing both, doing directly uh, protecting the orangutan by rehabilitating and send them back to the forest. But if we are talking about what BOSS is doing at the moment, we working in area that have more than 2,500 wild orangutan. Which so area? In Mawas area, which is uh, five times compared to the uh, orangutan that in our centers. Um, that's a lot of orangutans. It's still a lot of orangutans in the center. Um, but how many are in your centers right now? We have now more than 430. So between the orangutans in the centers and the wild orangutans that the Boss Foundation is helping to protect, that's no small drop in the bucket. The last population estimate for Borneo orangutans brings the number under 60,000 individuals in all of Borneo. So you and the Boss Foundation are doing fantastic work, but for the 7 billion people on this planet, most of them can't work with orangutans directly and help save them here in Borneo. Um, what can they do to help orangutans and th their habitat? Basically something that, uh, you know, doing something that respecting this planet, changing lifestyle, less uh, pollution, less uh, plastic waste, etc., etc. Also, people able to directly supporting us with their talents with their expertise. But uh, for the one that has no such uh, expertise on that uh, match with our needs in the field, then they could do a lot of things. For example, our um, documentary the videos for YouTube, it needs music. So someone that have a talent on music then could support us. And the one that could on maybe film editing can, you know, help us on editing our footage. And then the one that could on designing something, then we have a lot of reports, we have uh, merchandises that need to have uh, new designs. Then you have uh, um, more mon money than you can just send to us. That's uh, the, s the most simple way, I guess. Oh, there are a lot of ways people can help us and orangutans within their own means, um, in whatever way they can. Every way helps. So um, that has been very informative. Thank you so much for joining me today, Anton. It's been a pleasure to speak with you. No worries. For those of you uh, who would like to know more about our work and how you can support us, we will be having another OU cast in the near future um, with a theme about how everyone, no matter where you are, can support orangutans here in Borneo. Um, so please follow our Instagram for more information on that. Thank you for joining us today.